Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizam Makwe bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online and uh, at the premises of La Beach Hotel. You know, I've been watching um, a, 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 a sumo wrestling match. You know, those sumo wrestlers are really, really huge people and uh, it's, 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 it's a very interesting thing, especially sometimes the way they are dressed. I mean, I, when I see them, I, I begin laughing because I thought they were dressed awkwardly, but it is their custom and it is their tradition. As their cultural thing so they understand the meaning of what they wear or all those things i'm sure they have quite a lot of revelation on it but i don't have that revelation anyway this morning i like to capture my thoughts with the words divine sumo wrestlers <laughs> and i'm right now still on genesis chapter uh, 32 because i'm fixated with jacob and what happened at the jabok river and you remember now jacob is fleeing or he's, he's running away from uh, Lehab, um, laban uh, he has left Laban's house and he's coming over and then the Bible says his brother is, is, is coming now his brother Esau and he's coming with wrath because he's coming with anger and he's coming with swords and spears and soldiers and shields and everything and the interesting thing about it is that then Jacob sends everybody away some he sends everybody away the goats and everything and then the Bible says at once he had sent everybody away there came an angel of God. I like the King James rendition. There came an angel of God which did wrestle with Jacob. Which did wrestle with Jacob. So now here's the point. There came an angel of God and that angel set up a wrestling match. I've already tweeted it in one of the topics. But here's the interesting thing. The fight was not started by Jacob. Like people say. The fight was started by the divine. So all of a sudden, God sent a sumo wrestler to go and wrestle with David, uh, with, with uh, Jacob. And he was wrestling with Jacob, and he was wrestling with Jacob. Now Jacob also took up the game, because that's what, it, and I'm, I'm very, very interested. Why would God, why would God, why would God initiate a, a wrestling match with you? What has he done? You know, sometimes heaven would like to, to visit you in order to change the way you walk. Heaven would like to come to deal with you concerning some issues. Jacob was a person who was a mind person. And Jacob was a person who all throughout his life, he uses his mind, you know, he, he's a very sly, he's very foxy. And this is what he does, you know, uh, he can uh, think through some issues and always try and come on top of the issues. This was Jacob's character. But here, he's coming to a place in his life where God is saying, listen, I don't want you to walk by the slight of your mind or by the cunning craft of your mind anymore. It ain't going to work. I want to walk properly. I want you to walk in divine order. I want you to walk in divine steps. I want you to walk in other steps that I have made. So the purpose, God came down to start a fight in order to bring some changes, in order to bring some transformation in Jacob's life. And here is the interesting thing. I believe that sometimes there are some warfares we have. These are divine, divine enabled warfares or divine permitted warfares. In order to, for us to come to a place of reckoning, in order for us to look at, critically at ourselves and see what our values are and see what our principles are and see what we espouse and see what the kind of lives that we live and then make some changes accordingly. It is not every fight that is demonic. It is not every fight that you come and bind and lose. It's not every fight that you bind. And lose and then it happens no there's some fights we have bound we have loosened and all the things and it doesn't work sometimes it is time now for you to sit down and take a good look at yourself take a good look at your character take a good look at the things you do and the way you think and the way you and the way you handle other people sometimes you need to take a very good look at some of these things and you know what I believe that sometimes you need to make those changes otherwise God is going to send a divine sumo wrestler down your way Jacob was being confronted with who he was, a cheat, a supplanter, 
a mind person, a cunning person, a sly person, a foxy person, and who depends upon his wits in order to be able to survive. He will do, he cheats his father-in-law, he cheats his brother, he deceives his father. This is the kind of game that Jacob was used to. And God said, from now on, I want it to end. I want you to walk in the steps of righteousness, in ordered steps. I want you to walk that way. So here's a, it is very imperative, and it's very important that God is bringing these changes and God is bringing these things into the life of Jacob to straighten him up. Yes, in the end, he's going to damage you. In the end, he's going to change the way you walk. In the end, you ain't going to walk just by heart anymore because you're going to walk limping for the rest of your life. But here's the point. Are we going to wait for divine sumo wrestlers to come down our way? Are we going to wait for, are we going to wait for adversity to confront us before we make some changes in our lives? You don't need that. You can make those changes right now. Of course, the choice is yours. But let me assure you that sometimes there are some divine sumo wrestlers who come in the, in the face of adversity to change the way you walk, the way you think, and the way you do your things. The choice is yours. Divine sumo wrestlers on the way for you, surely not for me. God, please, I beg. See you later.